just a few decades ago, Texas was a different place. The food we ate was grown in our own communities. Today, we're moving less and eating more. Nearly one in three Texans are obese, and obesity has become a leading cause of death in America. But Texans are bringing healthy back. Across the state, communities are being reshaped to support and transform our health and well-being. Because reducing obesity starts with growing community. Well, so Clinica Familiar is a community health center located in the Rio Grande Valley of Texas. We take care of an array of health problems, but the one big one that uh, we are handling at this time is obesity. Obesity is linked to so many other diseases. High blood pressure, stroke, a diabetes, liver disease. If we don't control obesity, it's going to break the bank when it comes to health care costs. In Brownsville, like many communities, there are lots of um, fast food options, there are grocery stores, there's convenience stores, but we didn't see a place highlighting fresh fruits and vegetables. We know obesity is a problem in Texas, and we also know that obesity is a symptom of the policies and environments that make it difficult to make healthy choices in Texas. Studies have shown that if you change the environment and make fruits and vegetables more available, you can have an impact on obesity. Surprisingly, we are in an agricultural area, and yet here in our own community, we didn't have a farmer's market. There was a state grant that came out to help communities address the issue of obesity. I felt that uh, we could take some of that money to try to develop some infrastructure to do some really good things in Brownsville. That's kind of how the birth of the farmer's market idea came into being. Me llamo Diana Garcia Padilla. Este es el rancho de nosotros. Um, sembramos vegetales para comer y para vender. Estamos plantando aquí en, en bloques para tener variedad de, de de los vegetales todo el tiempo y tenemos poquito de cada cosa. Well, we have here we have broccoli, onions, uh, we have a uh, carrot, lettuce, green beans, onion, cilantro, beets and radish. Todos los viernes empezamos con como después de las 3 de la tarde a empezar a recoger todos los, los vegetales para lavarlos, prepararlos, para tenerlos listos para el, para el sábado tempranito. Eh, tener ya todo listo, solo ponerlo en la troca y vámonos. The Brownsville Farmer's Market del Campo a su mesa, which means from the fields to your table, is a brand new market in Brownsville selling fruits and vegetables and other local items uh, to consumers right here. The market was designed for the sole intent of reducing obesity rates and improving diabetes rates in our community. The market is here as a message that the environment can help you. The market operates every Saturday. We have growers from the region coming in. They bring in the fresh produce. It could be carrots, it could be broccoli, cabbage. The grapefruit does well. We've had a good year for the grapefruit. How much are the eggs? Three dollars. Mucha gente va solo por curiosidad porque mira que hay gente ahí y van y miran. Cuando empiezan a mirar que hay mucho, muchos vegetales y todo eso, hasta que empiezan a probar la, el sabor del, del, de los vegetales y de lo que compran y siguen yendo. Tenemos clientes de que desde el primer día que fuimos 
han estado yendo cada vez que nosotros vamos. There's a wide range of people who come to the market from different walks of life, different economic strata, different ethnic background, and that was our goal. We provide vouchers to some of our low-income families to make it more, a little more affordable to buy fresh fruits and vegetables, to introduce them to the market and, you know, get used to incorporating that into their diet. Gracias. Uh, low-income families who may not be able to afford uh, some of the fruits and vegetables, the voucher program has been very instrumental. Cuando empezamos el farmers market, la mayoría de la gente que iba nos dimos cuenta que eran abogados, jueces, maestros, doctores. Pero mientras estaban dando los vouchers, la gente se daban cuenta, compraban a bajo precio con buen sabor. Sí regresan lo, la gente de bajo ingreso. Yeah. La otra ya se flo, está floreando. Que, que Antes que cuando de venir acá, de que, sea, de que sí comíamos, pero no era en, pues bastante, era consumimos de lo, de lo mínimo. Ahorita, pues ahorita sí es, estamos consumiendo más por, por los niños, le ayudan. Pues. Uh -huh. We've had food demos. This is our first official food demo, which is really good. We want to help them learn about different ways to cook the food or to enjoy what they have purchased. Suggesting that perhaps these eggplants or squash or carrots would taste better than the canned engages them to think, you know what, this is fun. I might, they might be right about that. I think the Brownsville Farmers Market has benefited the community in a number of ways, but one of the biggest is the presence of a healthy option that has now become the, a center of discussion. And we would recommend it to other communities for changing your environment to promote vegetables and fruits in a healthy lifestyle. Communities are starting to come together and try to increase access to fruits and vegetables within their own communities because they realize there's a problem and they want to be part of the solution. Brownsville Market ha hecho pero bastante cosas buenas. Y mucha gente deben de aprender o maybe haya más grupos para que aprendan lo que ellos están haciendo para hacerlo en otros lugares para gente pobre también, para que aprendan y, y sepan que hay muchas cosas allá afuera. Mucha buena comida. To learn more, visit texasbringinghealthyback.org.